what's good everybody my name is Jay Fatty welcome back to another video today we're going to talk about wave traveler which is a really dope scratch sampler manipulation VST built inside FL studio so let's get right into it so you can pull wave traveler up by clicking the plus on the channel rack if you don't see it in here go to more plugins it's going to look like this now this little folder button is how you can import samples or you can just click and drag the sample into here so that's what we're going to do right now all right so once the sample's in it's going to look like this you got this little area that's going to show the kind of sample waveform and the actual it's more of just like an overview of what's going on with the sample and then the manipulation that's happening this box over here is where the manipulation is if you see down here, we got wave and volume. So you can manipulate the waveform and the volume of the sample. To start manipulating stuff, you can just left click and put in different dots. And then you can right click those dots to get different variations in the line or curve. Just for example, if you want to hit tension, you can pull a tension knob up and then you'd be able to drag this to get some tension in the track. Now essentially how this works is the manipulation or patch is tied to a key on the, the keyboard, okay? So when you hit that, let's just hit the C5. It kind of sounds awful, but it's going to manipulate it. We can make that sound less awful by messing with the speed here. If we drag it to the right, it'll be more slow. Now you can also mess with the spline type right here. If it's up at the top setting, it's going to be tempo based, meaning the manipulation is going to be more on beat with the master tempo. Whereas if you have it down here, it will be uh, absolute. So meaning it's going to be more tailored towards the original sounding sample and the kind of tempo that that's at. But just by switching spline types here, we can get a different sound. Now you also got an attack and release knob that you can mess with here to manipulate the sample more. And then this button right here, the snap to grid, if you put that on, let's just put it on one eighth. Over here on the grid, it will actually snap to whatever you set it to. So that can be very handy. Now if we look at this right here, this is where you can jump to one of the patches or keys. So if, you, if you're on C5 and you wanted to go to C8, you could just click patch C8 and it's going to jump to that patch. Now, normally you could just play these on a mini keyboard and you could play multiple at once. So you can get some really unique sounding stuff if you really go in here and manipulate the sound. And then these knobs right here are your start and end. So you can move these to choose what part of the sample you want to manipulate. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Wave Traveler has got a lot of sauce. So don't sleep on it. Get some cool scratches and manipulate your samples. Get some cool chops with this. If this video brought you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell. Make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Much love, y'all. Peace.